This is Ben, and we're looking at an ACT reading question uh, on a science passage. This passage, uh, this question says, in the context of the passage as a whole, it is most reasonable to infer that the phrase, he can certainly produce a great result, line 65, means that. So we're looking at the meaning of a phrase here, so we're gonna go to the context, the sentence where we find it. Let's go down to line 65, uh, and it looks like the sentence starts up here. Although man does not cause variability and cannot even prevent it, he can select, preserve, and accumulate the variations given to him by the hand of nature almost in any way which he chooses. And thus he can certainly produce a great result. Okay, so basically it's talking about how uh, humans, uh, in this case it's an antiquated passage, so man, cannot, um, doesn't cause sort of uh, the, the changes in traits in the animals directly, but through selection and preservation and so on, so basically through breeding, can produce traits in animals. Uh, so then we, so this question really, uh, in terms of what this phrase means, is kind of a matter of degree. Uh, so first we can rule uh, at least one answer choice out. Human-directed breeding is not yet an exact science. Well, this is a positive statement about human-directed breeding, so we can rule that out. Uh, human directed breeding may be very successful. He can certainly produce a great result. That seems pretty good. Uh, that might be the right choice. The traits from breeding are better than natural traits. Well, it's, it's not, com it's, it's really, in the context of the sentence, it's, it's sort of, it's not comparing the traits from breeding to natural traits. It's um, comparing man's ability to select for traits to I guess a lack of ability to do that. So this is not gonna be correct. Human directed breeding has guaranteed results. So we're really comparing these two. May be very successful or has guaranteed results. Uh, even though he says he can certainly produce a great result, we can be pretty sure based on the beginning of that sentence about man not directly controlling the traits that it doesn't have guaranteed results. Uh, and in general, if you have a couple choices and one of them has stronger language, but they have generally the same meaning, you're gonna shy away from that one and choose the one that's a little bit subtler of a choice.